Welcome to Lupo by Wolf Can Pack. My name is Eduardo Perez. Uh, today I'm going to show you a couple different recipes. Uh, one of them is with prosciutto and uh, shrimp. So over here we have uh, this uh, little shrimp that is going to be our main ingredient. But before we get to them, we're going to start by cooking some beans with a little bit of uh, onions, carrots, and celery that we need to uh, cut up over here. Uh, if you're going to do this at home, you can do the chopping ahead of time so you can have a little more time to spend with your guest. So we're going to dice up the carrots, the onions, and the celery. This is enough for what we're doing today. Got the carrots, now we're going to do the onions. This is enough. Now we do the same thing with the celery. Okay, perfect. So back here we have a saute pan that is getting hot. We're going to take a little garlic and we're going to start in the saute pan with a little garlic and a little olive oil. We're going to let the essence of the uh, garlic release we don't want to uh, burn the garlic. We want to get it nice and, 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 and cooked, but we don't want it to burn. So we're going to uh, let it cook over here. Once this is done, we take our mirepoix, our onions, carrots, and celery, throw them in the saute pan. And for this recipe, we're going to be using a little rosemary. So we're just going to take the whole sprig of rosemary and we're going to throw it in this mixture. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of white beans on this. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock. Okay, we let that cook. Now we have our saute pan going over here. We're gonna get it nice and hot. We're going to take our prawns and we're going to season them with a little salt and pepper. Okay, we're gonna coat them with the flour on both sides. And we're gonna take our saute pan over here that is nice and hot. Again, we're gonna start with the olive oil. We take our prawns. Going to add just a touch more olive oil. Okay, our beans are going over here. Gonna make sure we have them nice and seasoned also. A little black pepper, a little bit of salt. Your prawns, you want them cooked, but you don't want them to, to overcook them. So you want to have a nice and a fresh uh, flavor of your seafood. So one side is done, we take them on the other side. Okay. Now what we do is we take a little bit of butter. We add it to this. And we're going to combine both ingredients together. Okay. So we have this going. And I like cooking with extra virgin olive oil. So we're going to uh, be very generous with the olive oil on this one. We're going to add just a touch more chicken stock. Okay, going to take the flame down a little bit. Now we come back over here where we're going to uh, do our plating. So we're going to take our prawns. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, wrap up our shrimp with a little bit of the prosciutto. See, you notice I'm not cooking the prosciutto. I like the prosciutto to have this nice flavor without having to cook it. Because if you cook it, the flavor will change a little bit and we don't want that. 
Okay, so now what we do is we're going to take our beans and we're going to put them on the plate. Okay, now we're going to garnish it with a little fresh thyme leaves. I love cooking with fresh herbs and thyme is one of my favorites. I like that uh, earthiness flavor that it gives to your uh, dishes. And here we have our uh, blue prawns with prosciutto and white beans. Enjoy it. My name is Eduardo Perez. See you next time.